Hey everyone, welcome to Shaven Butcher. Now, what if John Lennon had invented that little thing you put on your front door to secretly see who's on the other side of the door? I mean, imagine all the peoples. Thank you, just letting that sink in. We're gonna to shave today as well. It's not all comedy. And the shave will include a, um, a soap of sorts. So um, I had a lot of samples that I didn't really use. Well, I've used all the samples and I, I have opinions about uh, the various soaps and scents and what I might get. But then I don't like bowl leathering at all. So, so um, I don't use them. So what I did was I merged them into, into one and I made a list of what it is. And I, I do apologize for, for doing this. And I do apologize to the to the poor artisans who made the soaps, but uh, th this way at least I'll use them. They are from uh, West Coast Shaving, Wild West Shaving Company, sorry Russell. The Elixir number one, number two, Irish Brigade, Brigade Brute Magnum and Billy the Kid. And from Wickham, sorry Wickham family, um, the English Rose Citrus Musk, Ninfeo de Egeria, Le Bleu, Scottish Heather, Union Square and Bala Wood. So it's a bit of a mix. So I, I put them in and I, I actually shaved um, a few days ago and then I let the soap thing dry, I thought anyway, put the lid on and uh, went away and, and then came back today and I think you can see it's sort of sweating. And maybe that's me not letting it dry properly, but I, I feel it's sweating, you know, and, and sort of leaking. So it's like the various soap bases react with each other. No funny smell. Well, the smell is interesting anyway, because it's a mix of 12 soaps. Um, but I'm going to try and shave with it one more time. Last time was, was, was just fine. The racer is a bit interesting too, at least for me. It is a small Swedish Eskilstuna steel one. J.A. Helberg, J.O. Helberg from Eskilstuna. It's an old one, I don't know how old, I haven't done the research. Sort of half hollow-ish, quarter hollow. I haven't measured it, I believe it's half an inch, inch, four eighths or something like that. So what's interesting about this one is that belonged to my wife's great grandfather. And it is the only piece of, of shaving supply uh, from the family that, uh, that I have. And he's the only one who, who ever shaved with straight razors. No one on, on my, my side of the family. So it's, uh, it's a bit of family, um, family history that I'm super happy to to continue with, right? Brush is gonna be Matri's uh, beautiful little thing with the Magard 24 millimeter synthetic knot that I actually like more and more. Uh, it, is, uh, it is a fine thing. I'm gonna rinse the soap to go see if I can get rid of this sweaty stuff. If you know what is happening to, to my Franken soap, let me know. And it's okay to tell me off for messing up what at least used to be really, really good product. So, out with the water, that's rather wet. Brush is not so wet. So we'll try and load it up. The scent isn't super, super nice. But scents aren't everything not the most important thing at least at least not to me it is important but it's not performance is, is better so okay and I'm gonna do what I always forget to do that I see other people do instead of wasting the soap there's quite a bit in there which I always rinse out Silly. I'm gonna put some of that on the face. Okay, here we go. It 
It doesn't smell bad. It just smells... It's, it's hard to tell which scents are the, the strongest. I think Russell's, Russell's scents are, are typically a bit stronger than the Wickham ones. Don't know, but I, uh, I think so. It's like they're fighting each other. So we've been mixing soaps in some of these challenges, or at least one or two, or three, three soaps, or soap and a crop and whatever. And that hasn't really appeared to have negatively affected performance or anything. Scents can be a bit weird. So this is essentially, I think, two soap bases. I think all the Wiccan ones are the same. Uh, and and um, the Wild West shaving companies as well. I, I don't know. I just assume. I never read ingredients lists on soaps. <laughs> I buy what other people tend to like. I've always been like that. I have, I have extremely little interest in being the first one to do anything. Fun if it ever happens, but I, you know, it's like the CD player. I resisted for a long time. Uh, it's not so much because I'm conservative. It's just, you know, I didn't see the point. And, um, and I'm not a huge fan of, of surprises, or at least negative surprises. So I'm quite happy being a late adapter. Speaking of which, I'm getting a few soaps, hopefully today, which are, you know, have been on the market for a long time. But, uh, but I've been studying people and listening to people talk about them. And instead of buying something brand new, which could be interesting, but you other youtubers rush to do that so quickly anyway just try and get something that appears really interesting and good here we go gramps Feels a bit weird to have such a small razor. Hang on, let me compare it to the big one. Just a sec. I'm back. Okay, just for ridiculousness. A little bit of a difference. Would you look at that? Yeah. Compensation, right? Yeah, doing a good job. Pretty cool. I need a bit, a bit more water in my lather. You'll have to bear with me. It's uh, it's twelve soaps in one. Not easy to master. And there's almost no such thing in my book then as. Um, too much water. Good soap, bad soap. Well, life is too short for bad soaps, but um, a lot of water helps always. Sure, you can put too much in, but you want to push the boundaries a bit. Oh, I've been there. Sorry. 
working pretty pretty well. It's not the most sophisticated racer I've ever used. It cuts hair very effectively. It doesn't make a sing and dance about it. The soap mix is, is working really well. Just like last time, so I think it's fine. I'll try and let it dry a lot more, like 48 hours and see what happens. Can you get a, a soap too dry? Say it's a, a soft soap. Can you dry it so much that it gets destroyed? I don't know. I mean, sometimes I forget a soap with the lid open for a week. I've never experienced any issues with it, but maybe you shouldn't. I don't know. Typically shave every day. So usually I keep the lid off for 24 hours. That tends to be enough. Good, good, good. As you shave with this soap mix, you get different, different scents and you go, ah, oh, it's Buddha wood, you know? Or that's something else that I recognized. I mean, stuff like English rose, which is beautiful, and I might get disappears in, in among stronger scents. So this kind of makes probably a bad idea. It's just, you know, I will be using up the soap and I probably wouldn't otherwise. And you shouldn't waste stuff. Okay, first pass. Bit of blood there, don't know what happened. See how that feels. Yeah, not spectacular, but it works. So he, wife's great-grandfather had two racers that were kept anyway. One was um, a similar one that my home meister couldn't really get an edge on. And sometimes that happens, especially if they're uh, over a hundred years old. That's a shame, but, but this one works just fine. A shave with this razor is never going to blow my mind. But knowing where it came from and not only having it but using it is cool, you know. Um, it's a kick, so I will be using it for sure. Okay, against the grain is where the Thing is tested. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. So it's not tugging because the edge is really good, but it's straight racers will know what I will, will know the feeling. Yeah, we have to work a bit harder, even if it's sharp. Some just go through the, the beard like a warm race, a warm knife through butter. And some are more tools. Perfect, that is perfect.
was commenting a bit on a fellow YouTuber about, and this is internal talk for YouTubers, I guess, in a way. Let me just get this out of the way. Yeah, not doing fool's pass today. I need to practice more. I'm not going to practice on camera. I'll give you the pleasure. Blood. Yeah, so if you have a YouTube channel, uh, should you care about numbers? And with numbers, I mean number of subscribers, number of views, number of likes, number of comments, etc. Well, uh, we talk about this sometimes. Trevi B, for example, had uh, had a, a a video in his very very excellent mirror series about it, and came to the conclusion that you shouldn't really mortgage your house more or pimp your wife out to finance buying stuff to use on your YouTube channel just to get more subscribers. I agree. Um, and if you have a spending problem, which quite a few people do, then you know you you got to you got to deal with it. But I sometimes hear it's quite frequent again. Sorry, cliffhanger for this super interesting, eloquent conversation. Bear with me. Ah, gotta do the. But I do the nose, not going to do that with the razor. Although you'd like that, wouldn't you? We're not fast today, we're slow. I'm a man, I can't do two things at the same time. Yeah, so... Is it okay to care about the numbers? Well... Uh, YouTubers, in general and shaving youtubers we do a lot of shit just to get attention i mean come on i i shave blindfolded without even being asked to do it or challenged or anything um i could have done that on my own and so i certainly could have practiced but i did it on camera to be a bit spectacular to get to get views to get subscribers to get likes that's why i did it no a lot of the time i just shave as i would have otherwise but sometimes i put on a few tricks we all do some people make up challenges to to get attention the same thing and i think it's okay if you don't have a spending problem and an addiction to to purchase stuff to use on your channel just to get just to make the content more interesting just to get more attention i think that's okay my wife was cleaning out the basement last weekend so she'd give me the kids stuff to go through go through this please throw almost everything away but check it out so i got all the boxes labeled johan nostalgia which is shit i've i've saved such as every letter I've ever received in the last 43 years or something. So do you need to keep those? No, most were love letters. I've said, do you need to keep them? The ones that aren't for me? And I said, well, yeah, fair enough. We've had this conversation before and I've refused to throw them away because it's, yeah, I don't know why, but I, I did now. But anyway, I, I remember, well, I knew, of course, but I got reminded of of a lot of amateur theater that I did as a, as a kid in Sweden and in Belgium, in French. Um, I enjoyed that and I've, I've never have been very good at it. So you could never make a career out of being an actor, but but I really enjoyed it, and I did musicals in particular. Um, and you know, I I just 
There is a joy in, in standing in front of an audience, be it on a camera or, or live, and getting, uh, making people laugh or think or something, or get some kind of reaction. It's a pretty big kick. And that's appreciation. And, and you get applause if you, if you act live. On YouTube, you get views and, and, and thumbs up and subscribers. Same thing. So I go as far as saying yes, that the most important thing for wet shaving YouTubers, not the only thing, but the most important thing for us as a group, at least, and probably for most of us as individuals, is getting the love. And the love is in the numbers, where it's measured in the numbers. So everyone cares about the numbers. Everyone. Come on, you do. I do. Is that the only thing that drives me? No, but it's a pretty important one. If, if a lot of my subscribers would go away, I'd stop, I think. And I don't feel I'm doing the world a favor by spreading knowledge about wet shaving. Hardly at all. I'm here to entertain. And I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> not better. But at the end of the day, you know, have conversation, interact with people, sure. But to entertain this. That's why I watch YouTube videos as well, to be entertained. So guys and girls, please be entertaining. Anyway, interesting topic. If you have a different view, let me know. It's okay. It's okay. But I think I'm right in general. Okay, a lot of chatting today. Let me, let us see how that feels. Just a quick rinse. That is really good. What is soap? What is razor? What is skill? You never know. But it feels good anyway. It feels really good. So, cool. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Good shave, I'm gonna have a good day. I'm gonna choose after shave now, carefully, and a scent, and then I'm gonna walk around feeling like I look like a million dollars, and hopefully smelling the same. I hope you do too. Hope you enjoy your shaves, and uh, have a good weekend.